camcorders, color TVs, VCRs. It's Federated end of the year clearance. Projection TVs, video games, giant TVs. Time to get tremendous savings. CD players, digital receivers, car stereos. On hundreds of items at Federated. Cassette recorders, tower speakers, stereo systems. At the guaranteed lowest prices. CD changers, cassette players, cordless phones. But time is running out. Answering machines, word processors, computers. So hurry to Federated's end of the year clearance. Before it's too late. We're back. It's almost 1989. Hey, psych. And uh, I don't know if any if anybody that you guys know isn't watching. Well, yeah, you're screwed. What can I tell you? Because this is where that where it's happening. Can you get a shot of my jacket over here? You see this little thread that I have right here. This girl just was, I didn't know that was there, and she just pointed at it and go, you got a little thing there. <laughs> it's like, I beg your pardon? She's going, you got a little thing right there. You little devil, you. <laughs> um, we're back at Igby's. I'm John Mulroney. Drake Sather is our next comedian and is one of the kindest, most generous, and modest performers we've had on the show, and I know that because he just told me. Uh, he's a recurring guest on Late Night with David Letterman. January 3rd through the 8th, he'll be at the Improv in San Francisco, but he's here now, Drake Sather. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? Yeah. I feel kind of queasy. I just scarfed down one of these Dove bars. You had one of these? Yeah, not the ice cream bar, but the soap. Some <laughs> uh, of my favorite anti-drug commercial tonight. Right? This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Like, yeah. Is that an egg in a frying pan? <laughs> Aren't I having enough problems with my hallucinations? Without you pulling optical illusions on me? Man, I cut my Adam's apple while I was shaving today. What a mess I was, man. There was apple juice everywhere. <laughs> It's good to be here, though. It's good to be in a nice comedy club. Last big show I did was this benefit for the Ronald McDonald House. And uh, we were taking in thousands of dollars, and halfway through my set, I started thinking, you know, just how big of a house does this greedy clown need? <laughs> what an egomaniac this guy is. <laughs> it was kind of strange. I was walking around last night, and these guys in a hot car came by. and said, get out of our town, fairy. And I just couldn't run away. Yeah. Well, I had on this really tight skirt. <laughs> I see tattoos are making a comeback. A friend of mine got his girlfriend's name tattooed to his arm. And I can see marrying a girl, having a few kids, but a tattoo. It's so permanent. <laughs> Actually, I got married a few months ago. Thank you. No one cares. Don't even try to fake it. It was kind of a solemn Catholic ceremony on a Las Vegas Boulevard. Yeah. My wife thinks I'm too nosy. At least, you know, that's what she keeps scribbling in her diary. No, I'm glad I married her because uh, dating has gotten way too expensive. Yeah. Finally, I had to confront this girl I was going out with. I said, why is it every time we go out, I seem to end up spending hundreds of dollars? And she said, because I'm a prostitute. <laughs> uh, I thought you knew that. I said, no, I, I just thought this restaurant was really expensive. I didn't realize. Okay. Well, one time I was hanging out with this woman at a bar and I said, what do you want to do? She said, I want to do what you want to do. I said, you mean you want to make it with that chick over there in the miniskirt too? <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> Boy, I went out with this one girl I thought for sure was the Antichrist. Yeah. Turns out she wasn't quite the Antichrist. One night I shaved her head and it said 665. <laughs> That was a close one. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay away from my little sister. That's for sure. Boy, yeah. and everyone's getting pregnant these days. Yeah. Well, no, not the men so much. But, uh, yeah, my sister-in-law's pregnant now, but she's so promiscuous, you know, we're not even sure if it's hers. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't you think it's strange when someone tells you that they only have one friend and they think it's you? <laughs> just wanna go, I'm sorry, but I got some bad news for you. You are alone. Yes. You ever call up someone expecting to get their answer machine, but instead they answer? It kind of throws you off, doesn't it? It's like a split second there when you want to go, yeah, is the machine there? Oh, it's off now. When will it be on again? I'll call back then. Oh, it's no one. Or well, last week I watched Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune back to back. There's a slight difference in the quality of the contestants on these shows, don't you think? Jeopardy's like, let's meet Robert. Robert's a research scientist and in his spare time enjoys building brains. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune's a different story. It's like, let's meet our champion, John. John is fascinated by small, shiny objects. <laughs> Who wants to hold a job for three weeks? Good luck, John. Yeah, Jeopardy makes you feel stupid because the questions are so hard and uh, Wheel of Fortune makes you feel stupid because, well, you know, you're watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I see a lot of people are finding it hard to believe that Elvis is really dead. Yeah, I guess it's just hard to fathom that someone who took such good care of himself... <laughs> because, uh... I was watching this uh, special on Fred Astaire and they said, friends and family were shocked at the death of the 88-year-old. Yeah, I was shocked too. I, I thought he died 10 years ago. <laughs> I want to be famous, though. I've been practicing to be famous. You know, in case it happens, I'll be ready for it. Like, this guy was pointing a camera at me, and I said, if you take my picture, I'm going to smash your face in. I said, look, pal, do you want a driver's license or not? <laughs> Getting tired of bumper stickers. Anyone who has a bumper sticker is a jerk. Yeah. Well, you know, it says it on the back of my car. So. <laughs> I hate this one the most, so it says, don't laugh, it's paid for. Yeah, like we're looking at this piece of junk thinking, uh, gee, I wonder what kind of monthly payment he has to make on that. <laughs> oh, I see, it's paid for, boy. Where do you get a chunk of dough like that? <laughs> Must be a drug dealer. Yeah, well, well, I saw some eggs in a frying pan in the back seat there. So, uh, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Happy New Year. Thank you. We got a lot more. We got a lot. Pace yourselves. So, Drakey, almost 89. Uh, you gonna quit smoking for the new year? Yeah, that's it. Uh, one time I, uh, I made the mistake of lighting up a cigarette in front of my father. He says, why don't you just put a loaded gun to your head and pull the trigger? I'm thinking, Dad, you know, I would, but I just don't think I get that same nicotine rush from a bullet. <laughs> uh, Never know till you try. When we come back, folks, Stanley Omen, Diane Ford, Ed Alonzo, Mac and Jamie, Carrie Snow, I'm out of breath. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Between Christmas and New Year's, the Chrysler Plymouth people are having their year-end clearance sale one time. Because one time is all you can have a year-end clearance sale. You'll get $500 cash back on new Colt wagons and $500 cash back on the all-new Colt. And I don't mean 88 stock. Because with deals like these on cars like those from people like them for a sale like that at a time like this, you only got to go there one time. One time is all we need to do you right. We'd like to make something perfectly clear. The two best-selling spray cleaners are not the same. One is clearly faster and better at removing tough, greasy dirt. Formula 409 Spray Cleaner. It's clearly better. Is scrubbing mildew making your shower a chamber of horrors? Spray on Tylex Instant Mildew Stain Remover and mildew stains vanish with no scrubbing. Try Tylex and escape the torture of scrubbing. No two women are alike. These two, different jobs, different lifestyles, different problems with their monthly periods. She has it all. Pain, tension, and water gain. She has mostly cramps. Problems too tough for simple pain relievers like Tylenol, Advil, or Midol 200. So they both take Pamperin. Different Pamperins. She, multi-symptom Pamperin. Same results. Period relief, not just pain relief. Mm -hmm. 
I can't get out of bed. Ever notice how even the smallest cold turns everything into a big effort? What a drag! It's time to get the big relief of Dimatap. In 12-hour Extend Tabs, Dimatap is recommended millions of times by doctors and pharmacists. So you have a cold? I've got just a thing. Dimatap. It gets things back to normal.